Welcome to the global defense battle. India's light combat helicopter, often called the LCH Prashand, is a specialized attack helicopter developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The Prachand was designed with a unique purpose, to operate effectively at high altitudes, making it ideal for India's mountainous regions, especially in areas like the Himalayas. The helicopter's main role includes close combat, anti-tank missions, and supporting ground forces, making it useful in both anti-infiltration and border defense roles. Development began in the early 2000s, and it officially joined the Indian Air Force in 2022. On the other hand, China's Z-10, known as the Fierce Thunderbolt, is an attack helicopter developed by the Chinese company Changhe Aircraft Industries Corporation, with assistance from the Aviation Industry Corporation of China. The Z-10 serves as China's primary attack helicopter, designed to destroy enemy tanks, armored vehicles, and fortifications. It was developed in the early 2000s and officially inducted into the Chinese Army in 2012. And today we will compare both of these helicopter, India's LCH Prachand versus China's Z-10. So let's start. Talking about the design and dimensions first, the Prachand features a sleek and agile body. Its narrow pointed nose and slim fuselage reduce air drag, which improves speed and maneuverability, crucial for combat in thin air. Its rotor system is made up of a four-blade main rotor and a four-blade tail rotor, designed to provide a stable and responsive flight experience. These blades are crafted with composite materials, making them strong but lightweight. The rotor blades are angled to enhance lift and agility, especially at high altitudes, where air density is low. The helicopter has a two-crew design with a pilot and a gunner, each in tandem seating for better visibility and control. The Prachand is around 15.8 meters long, 4.7 meters high, and has a rotor diameter of 13.3 meters. It has an empty weight of approximately 2,250 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of about 5,800 kilograms, allowing it to carry weapons and equipment without losing performance. On the other hand, the Z-10 has a robust design. Its body shape is more angular, with a bulky nose and a broad fuselage that houses advanced armor protection, including bulletproof glass and reinforced panels for crew safety. The Z-10 also has a four-blade main rotor and a four-blade tail rotor, which provide strong lift and enable it to carry more weight, including weapon systems and armor. The rotor blades are made of durable materials to withstand high stress conditions, especially during rapid maneuvers. Like the Prachand, the Z-10 has a two-crew setup, with the pilot and gunner seated in tandem, but with additional armor layers for safety. It measures about 14.1 meters in length, with a height of 3.85 meters, and a main rotor diameter of around 12 meters. It has an empty weight of roughly 5,100 kilograms, and a maximum takeoff weight close to 7,000 kilograms, making it suitable for carrying heavy weapon loads and enhanced armor. Both the helicopters are designed with specific combat roles in mind. Coming to the power and performance, the Prachand is powered by two HAL Turbomeca Shakti engines, a collaboration between India's HAL and France's Safran. These engines are designed for high-altitude performance, producing around 1,400 horsepower each, giving the Prachand the power needed for challenging terrains like the Himalayas. The LCH can reach a top speed of approximately 268 kilometers per hour and has a maximum range of around 550 kilometers, which allows it to conduct extended missions without needing frequent refueling. Its maximum service ceiling is impressive, reaching up to 6,500 meters, which is essential for operating in high-altitude regions. The helicopter has an endurance time of roughly three hours, which enables it to engage in longer missions while conserving fuel and maintaining efficiency in remote areas. On the other hand, the Z-10 is powered by two WZ-9 engines, developed domestically by China, each generating about 1,350 horsepower. While slightly less powerful than the LCH's engines, these WZ-9 engines allow the Z-10 to perform well in ground attack missions at lower altitudes, which suits its role in ground support. The Z-10 has a top speed of around 300 km per hour, making it faster than the LCH in short bursts. However, its maximum range is slightly shorter, at around 500 km. Its service ceiling is around 6,000 meters, which is lower than the Prachan's but sufficient for most low- to mid-altitude combat scenarios. The Z-10's endurance is also around three hours, allowing it to sustain missions within its operational range effectively. Overall, both the helicopters are powered by twin engines designed for combat missions, but with distinct strengths. Talking about payload and armaments, 
The Prachand has a payload capacity of around 700 kilograms, which allows it to carry various weapons for different combat roles. It is armed with a 20mm M621 cannon mounted on its chin turret, which provides high maneuverability and accuracy, making it suitable for close air support and anti-personnel roles. For anti-tank missions, the LCH can carry the Helena stands for helicopter-launched NAG missiles, an air-to-surface missile designed to destroy armored vehicles and tanks. The helicopter can also be equipped with rockets of various calibers, such as 70mm rocket pods, which are ideal for attacking ground targets in open areas. For air defense, it can carry air-to-air -air missiles like the Mistral, which helps it engage aerial threats. The versatility of the Prashan's weapon systems allows it to perform effectively in multiple roles, from anti-tank missions to close air support. On the other hand, the Z-10 has a payload capacity of approximately 1,500 kilograms, which is higher than that of the LCH, allowing it to carry a larger variety of weapons. It is equipped with a 23mm autocannon on its nose, providing higher firepower for close combat and ground attack roles. For anti-tank missions, it can carry HJ-10 anti-tank guided missiles, specifically designed to penetrate heavy armor, making it effective against enemy tanks and armored vehicles. Additionally, the Z-10 can be armed with TY-90 air-to-air missiles, which give it defensive capabilities against other aircraft. It can also carry various rocket pods, including 57mm and 90mm rockets, enhancing its effectiveness in close air support roles. The Z-10's weapon system is designed to deliver powerful strikes against ground and aerial threats, with a focus on firepower and versatility. Overall, the LCH and Z-10 both carry weapons tailored for multi-role combat, but their capacities and armaments reflect different strengths. Talking about armor and cockpit design, the Prachand offers a balanced level of armor protection, designed specifically for high-altitude operations where agility is essential. Its lightweight armor provides protection for the cockpit and other critical areas, shielding the crew from small arms fire and shrapnel while maintaining maneuverability. The cockpit of the LCH is fully modernized, equipped with multifunctional displays and a glass cockpit system that allows pilots to access critical information easily. The cockpit is also night vision compatible, enhancing its ability to perform missions in low visibility conditions. The LCH's avionics include target acquisition and designation systems, a helmet-mounted sight for weapon targeting, and advanced electronic warfare systems to counter threats. The helicopter also has a data link system for real-time information sharing, helping coordinate with other forces during operations. These avionics make the LCH highly capable in complex missions, especially in mountainous terrain. On the other hand, the Z-10 has a heavier armor layout than the LCH, designed to provide stronger protection, especially in ground attack missions. Its armor includes bulletproof glass and reinforced panels around the cockpit and vital components, protecting the crew from small arms fire and light machine guns. The cockpit of the Z-10 is advanced, featuring digital multifunctional displays and a heads-up display, providing pilots with critical data for accurate targeting and situational awareness. Like the LCH, the Z-10 cockpit is also night vision compatible, allowing it to operate in varied light conditions. Its avionics include an advanced fire control radar for target detection, a helmet-mounted sight for quicker response, and sophisticated electronic countermeasures to jam enemy radar and communication systems. Its avionics suite also includes GPS and navigation aids, helping pilots navigate challenging terrains and coordinate with other units effectively. Both the Prachand and Z-10 offer well-rounded armor, advanced cockpits, and capable avionics, but they prioritize different strengths. Talking specifically about radar and sensors, the Prachand is equipped with a range of sensors and radar systems that enhance its combat capabilities, especially in high-altitude operations. It has an electro-optical pod that includes forward-looking infrared and a laser rangefinder, which helps in detecting, identifying, and targeting objects in both day and night conditions. The FLIR system is essential for night missions, giving the LCH clear visibility even in low-light environments. The LCH also uses a radar warning receiver to detect and warn against enemy radar threats, improving its survivability in hostile territories. Additionally, the helicopter is equipped with a missile approach warning system that alerts the pilot of incoming missile threats, allowing for quick evasive actions or deployment of countermeasures. On the other hand, the Z-10 is equipped with an advanced suite of sensors and radars tailored for precision in ground attack missions. It features a millimeter wave radar, which provides high-resolution imaging useful for targeting and tracking ground-based targets such as tanks and armored vehicles. 
The Z10 also includes an electro-optical targeting system with FLIR capabilities, similar to the LCH, allowing it to operate effectively in both day and night conditions. For self-defense, the Z10 is fitted with radar warning receivers and laser warning receivers to detect enemy targeting and range-finding attempts. Its electronic warfare systems, including chaff and flare dispensers, enhance its ability to evade radar-guided and heat-seeking missiles, making it well-protected during missions. Coming to the cost, while exact figures are not publicly disclosed, the development cost of Prachand is estimated to be around $500 million. Each LCH unit is priced at approximately $20 million. Factors influencing this cost include the integration of advanced avionics, specialized weapon systems, and the capability to operate in challenging terrains. On the other hand, China's Z-10 development program began in the mid-1990s, with the first flight occurring in 2003. The estimated development cost is around $1 billion. Each Z-10 unit is priced at approximately $17 million. The cost is influenced by the incorporation of advanced weaponry, armor protection, and electronic warfare systems. As of November 2024, India has produced a limited number of light combat helicopters, with initial orders focusing on limited series production. In March 2022, the Cabinet Committee on Security approved the procurement of 15 LCHs, with 10 allocated to the Indian Air Force and 5 to the Indian Army. These helicopters have been deployed in regions like Rajasthan and the Himalayas. In June 2024, the Indian Ministry of Defense issued a request for proposal to Hindustan Aeronautics Limited for the acquisition of 156 additional LCHs. Regarding exports, the LCH is designed with features suitable for various combat missions, indicating potential for future export opportunities. On the other hand, China's Z-10 attack helicopter has been in production since 2003, with estimates suggesting that several hundred units have been manufactured. In February 2024, China showcased the export variant Z-10ME at the Singapore Air Show, marking its international debut. Pakistan has been reported as a potential customer, indicating China's efforts to market the Z-10ME internationally. In conclusion, India's light combat helicopter Prachand and China's Z-10 are both powerful attack helicopters designed to address their country's unique defense needs. This comparison highlights each helicopter's unique role and capability, showing how they serve as vital assets in their respective defense strategies. Which helicopter do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.